All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honor and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior. His name is Yahweh Hasham Yahavashai Bahasham Mahavakar Kodash. Name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's his son's name is Yahavashai, and who I reverence, and honors to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit, and to the few, very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days because we are living in the last days right we're just going to flow with the spirit and see what we can find right there's a lot of things going on hell of a lot so i want to start off on ecclesiasticus right let me get straight to this other for sure come on now ecclesiasticus and see what else oh no i lost that chapter there it is this is ecclesiasticus chapter 8 and 11 envy not the glory of a sinner so we're not supposed to be envying what a sinner has envy not the glory of a sinner because sinners get upheld that's what you're gonna find out sinners get upheld in this system wicked people right and it says for thou knowest what shall be the end you don't know what's going to be the end well actually we, we kind of do destruction if they don't repent our people but envy not the sinner because what they had to do to get that position was wicked right delight not in the thing that the ungodly have pleasure in so we're not supposed to be delighting in what the ungodly would delight in because what do they delight in nothing but evil people actually rejoice over doing evil this is how yep this is how backwards they are so we're not supposed to delight in what the ungodly delighting what we supposed to delight in righteousness yahweh shai and that's what we're going to delight in all right for sure all right and it says but remember they shall not go unpunished in the grave they're not bro they're not going to go unpunished they think they can just do all this wickedness and nothing's going to happen to them they 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 think that they can think they could do all this wickedness and nothing's going to happen right it's so one that's supposed to delight in what the ungodly is delighting in they're doing all types of sacrifices there's spirit cooking yeah there's spirit cooking the triangles the hexes right they're doing the whole lot the whole night yeah they even um hypnotizing children sacrificing children drinking their blood it's called adrenochrome this is what they do right this is what they do all these odious sacrifices this is what they're doing right and this is what goes on within society but the average person will say nah nah that sounds like something like a dracula well Dr what's dracula based upon huh Dracula is based upon what a vampire, right? That lacks a taste of blood. So you have individuals, they do the same thing. And I don't want to mention it too much, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. I don't want to mention this too much. But you want to know what a battle's with? It's occultism. You want to know what you're fighting through the spirit? It's occultism. It's witches and it's warlocks, right? Priests, right? And so forth and they teach their children some of these priest priestesses they teach their children to do the same thing right they hypnotize them and a lot of these people are also guess what they're being flipping trafficked yeah that's what's going on they're being trafficked right these are traffickers so this program is i'm telling you it's getting exposed from every every single avenue right they have their children follow along and a lot of these people with these children they don't even look like the children don't even look like they they belong to them they seem like it's they're, they're fostered right or they're in care these children don't even belong to them some of them are adopted and they've been hypnotized and they are part of a cult these are the things that go on right that's why the scripture says not envy not the glory of a sinner right what are these people do in wickedness 
right? Even even in the schools, you've got these people teaching the children to be fucking degenerates, to do wickedness. You gonna get you gonna get them destroyed, and you gonna get yourself destroyed. You understand? Right? They're teaching these children to do spells, to do spell work. You're going to get yourself destroyed and you're going to get them destroyed. Right? Go to Proverbs 3 and 31. Envy though not the oppressor. Bro, why are you envying the oppressor for? You env envying the oppressor. Right? Why? Why? Because he's got, what, mansions and... But bro, if you really knew the promises and what's going to happen to this system, then you wouldn't be envying the oppressor. You know how many people are selling out left, right, and center? I haven't seen it as this much before. Bro, people are selling out left, right, and center. And throwing other people under the bus. Just for some money. Right? Just for some money. Right? Family members and all. Right? That's why the scripture said the love of many is waxing cold. We don't want to be in that lot. That's why we need to what, occupy, stay occupied within these scriptures. Envy not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. So point blank period, you don't envy him and you don't choose none of his ways. Because what's the way of Esau? What's he going to teach you? Oh yeah, he teaches you capitalism. Right? That's what Esau teaches you, capitalism. Right? Two for me, one for you. Right? Three for me, two for you. That's what he teaches, and he teaches people that. That's why the earth is in the way it is now. Right? Everybody's trying to get a quick buck, or a gift card, or a new haircut, or a car. This is what people are doing. So they're selling out for, what? You're selling, so you would sell out for a Jaguar, for a different car for every day of the year. Bro, that's sad. That's fucking sad. Excuse me, that's sad. Right? When the scriptures talk about a kingdom. Because these people ultimately they they don't have faith, so they would do that, right? You better hold you better hold on to your integrity. I'm speaking to you brothers in the truth, right? Now I want to go to where was it? Corinthians. I have to mention these things because it's about yeah exposing the program. When you're exposing the program, you're exposing the system. You're exposing the tactics of the devil, right? I see what this devil's doing. You trying to send people around me, even certain family members. Oh yeah, would you would you quickly go go into the house? Uh, see, bro, it's out of fear. Satan's doing this out of fear, and other people as well, right? Sending certain people around you to try, to try to keep certain brothers in a low vibration. That's why I always say, don't get bro, don't stay up in don't stay up in the crib all day. Don't do that. Right? Don't be stay don't be staying up in the crib all day, because that's what they want you to do. Right? Get out into the open. And it's more better when you're out in the open. Why? Because when you're preaching this word, you're putting it out into the atmosphere. Now there's no think nothing wrong with doing videos in your household or a flat or a hostel, wherever you are. But you want to make sure you're out here teaching this word. Because it's going out into the atmosphere. Right? And we're breaking down them barriers, man. Them lies at deception. And that's why this devil, I can't speak for all of you, with different situations, different brothers. That's why he needs to hire more, bro, bro. I'm talking about more than 40, 50 witches. High level, so called high level witches to try to keep you in a low vibration. That only works if you're operating from a low vibration. That's the only way it works. Right? That's why I always say get out, teach the truth as much as possible. Because when you do that, then what can these witches do? What can they do? Right? They can't do nothing. Right? But I want to stay on point. This is 2 Corinthians 4. Right? I remember they get punished. Bro, they get rewarded by Satan. Look, if you're a member of the elect, if they can bring you down, if they can bring you down, right? Then, bro, they get rewarded by Satan, especially if it's a member of the elect. Bro, that's a massive payday. That's a massive payday. So, most of the people that are doing the program, they're doing this. Why? You think they just do it for any reason? There's money involved. There's money involved. 
All right, this is going to sound harsh. What's the program? The program is a, it's a slow kill program. The program is it's an assassination program. Now, please don't get all bent out of shape because not everybody, not everybody um, passes away. You have people that have been on the program for 10, 11, some 15 years, right? And they're still going. But that's what the program's designed to do, right? It's, it's a slow kill program. That's why you notice they try to rush you when you go into a store. Right, some people, no, it doesn't really happen to me, it hasn't happened, I think, in the last month. But just check the tactics, you have to be aware of what's going on. Right? And that's why I say sometimes as well, slow down, don't move too fast. Right? If they're moving fast, you slow down. Right? When they slow down, you move fast. Right? You've got to see what's going on. Yeah, bro, they're being paid off. Right? And what have they been paid off to do? To see if they can drive you into a mental institution or get you to join them or what's the last one? Or death or prison. So by them doing that, who are these people? They're the workers of iniquity at what the scriptures speak of. I'm giving you brothers this advice so you, you know what to look out for. These are the workers of iniquity. Yeah, Esau, the elites, these are the workers of iniquity. What in the last days? The devil, all his tactics are being exposed. Now you've got people paying, right? Joining community-based policing. And they're getting paid for it, right? These people don't have no real, real experience in um, security or any type of law enforcement. They get taught. Right? They're getting taught their tactics. They get taught what to do. They don't have any real experience. Leave that to the military men. You want to deal with security? Leave that to the military men. Those that have experience on the doors. Right? Because now they just set your ass up. It's called a non, non, non-disclosure deal. Which you signed. You just signed a non-disclosure deal. You dumbass. And you didn't really understand what it was about. You just sold your soul. Right? It's a non-disclosure deal. And when Satan's done with you, he's going to laugh at you. That's why it's going to be beautiful when everything starts popping off these um, prophecies. It's going to be beautiful. Right? When you actually read what it's about the program, a lot of people are surprised. A lot of people are now thinking, no, I didn't sign up. Yes, you did. You signed up for that. Right? And guess what? Once you sign up for that the part of the program to be um, a perp or whatever you want to call it, a spy, a government informant, when you sign up to do that, guess what now? You're in their hands now. They they have one over you. <laughs> if you don't do what they say, you're in trouble. So, man, it's beautiful how Yehavashai is doing things. It's all in his hands. Yeah? It's all on his hands. I don't want to focus on the program, but I'm just giving brothers advice. Right? Concerning this, so you know how to deal with things, so you know what you're seeing. But let's go to 2 Corinthians, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. 4 and 16. For which cause we faint not. Come on now. Bro, we ain't to faint. We're supposed to be getting stronger, man. For which cause we faint not. But though we're outward man perish. The outward man perish. Right? What is the what is that? What's the outward man? The outward man would be. The man who you were before. The outward man would be what? The flesh, right? So that's supposed to be perishing every single day. Right? Yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Right? So what inward man is supposed to be renewed? So when your inward man when your inward man's renewed, you're able to grow spiritually, right? And so forth. Okay, because your inward man is what renewed day by day. Right? We're supposed to be learning something new day by day. Even this program, we're supposed to be sussing it out day by day. Okay? And it says, Babakusha, for our light affliction. Hey, bro, this is only a light affliction, man. Right? Which is but for a moment. Right? Oh, you got the helicopters out here today. Bro, they're a part of it, bro. Like I said, the program is systematic. So that's all you need to know. Really, 
And if it's systematic, that means shit. Everything is coming your way, but I don't want you to think like that because it was already happening. If you win, it was already happening, but it's just that you woke up, that's all. And the spiritual realm got notified. And the spiritual realm, the devil said, oh, nah, you got to keep an eye on him. Then that pass, how does that translate in the physical? How does that translate in the physical? Well, Masons, right? That translate in the physical. Masons, uh, you got to keep an eye on him. This one's trouble. That's how it translates in the physical. Okay. And that's how you get the stalking or whatever the hell you want to call it. Right? It's systematic. Okay. Can you defeat it? Bro, we've already defeated it. What are you talking about? Through Yahweh Shai. <laughs> Hey, that's why the beautiful thing, hey, the scriptures are everything, man. We've already defeated it through Yahweh Shai. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Right? For our light affliction is but for a moment, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Okay? So it already says, bro, this is light affliction, this is light work, what this devil's doing. He's just hoping, and the devil's even surprised. The devil's even like, man, I've, I've done everything, but it still ain't working. So them demons are getting angry, right? And it says, working for us a far more exceeding eternal weight of glory. So let's, let's imagine, can you just visualize that glory? Visualize that, right? While we're looking at the things which are seen, oh, this is key. To overcoming what's going on around us. Remember the enemy, see the devil, he's he's tricky. He's in demons are intelligent, by the way. Right? The demons want you to focus on if the devil can get you focusing on your surround your surroundings and your environment, then he could use that against you. The devil's really tricky. If he can have you focusing on your, your outer surroundings, right? Why do you think the devil, these um these perps, why do you think they park the cars? They park the cars and they move the cars, they park the cars when they move the cars. Why do you think they do um the speeding down the road or what a 20 miles per hour road and you're speeding about 50 miles per hour? So you can try to pay attention to the outward surroundings. That's why they need to use noise frequencies, switch up different cars, because they want you to know. They want they see they want you to know that. That, that you see them Now we do see them But we're not really paying them too much attention that's the, only, that's the only way this program works Don't you get it? When someone gets I'm going to get back into scriptures When someone's told to sta stand here Right? Or if someone's wearing a bright, bright, bright colour That's so you notice them So, use wisdom So what would be the wisest thing to do? You don't acknowledge them <laughs> That's how the pro the program is based off you noticing them. That's why they have to use noise. That's why they have to speak loud. That's why they have to stand there and stand here. So you notice them. Now imagine if you were to remove the all away. Well, what would happen? You'd be focusing on Yahweh Shai. So that's the way it's supposed to be. Because I always say this: it was there even before you knew it was there. Are you paying attention? It was there even before you knew it was there. But because you were in darkness, the devil, he was just feeding you little bits. He was still keeping his eye on you, right? But he was just feeding you little bits of it, of the color coding. But it's just that you never noticed all these things. You never even noticed the cars. You never noticed all that. But now you've woken up. Now you notice it. Everything. <laughs> the, um, the false conversations, the acting. The theater. Was it always happening? Yeah, it was always happening. It's just that you never really noticed it then. Because you were still in darkness. Okay? So how this thing works, brothers and sisters, is you, is by you noticing it. And yeah, you're supposed to notice it because you wake up to the truth, right? But the way it works, the way it operates, the way they get the control, is if you buy into it. The, the, full, the false perception that they're trying to build around you, which is called the matrix, right? 
That's why every time you leave somewhere, they need someone standing here, walking there. Guess what that person was told to do before you arrived? Quickly, run out of your house, run out of your house, step outside the door so they can, so they can see you. So if they see you now, and they tell another person to do it, you miss that person, they have another car to drive past. You miss that car, they have another car to drive. Because it's systematic. That's why. It's Satan. Right? That's it. But we say it's from the left hand side. That's why you've got to be switched on. And that's really, you got to have the scriptures. Because I've seen people that have been talking about this. But they don't have the scriptures. So they end up losing their mind. No, stay calm. Because you have a in control of everything. Right? Going back to the scripture, 2 Corinthians 4 and 18. Why are we looking at the things which are seen? Powerful scripture which what Paul was saying. Why are we looking at the things which are seen? Right? So why are you paying attention to the things that are seen? Right? Oh, this, bro, we, we don't want to be complaining all day. See, see, see? This woman was wearing bright pink. There's a car parked outside. Bro. Well, that's what they want you to do. They want you to be in that spirit. Because now that's the only way they can control you if you buy into it. Now, you look outside, there's a car outside. Yeah, that's good. You see it, you observe it. Then you go about your business. You don't stand there looking at it. Oh, well, um, uh, there's a car park. So what? It's designed that way. To have you thinking every single thing they're doing, they're watching. And so what if they are? It's to get you distracted from your purpose, right? If you've been going this, been going through this for a year, two years, you should clock onto the tactics, right? Straight away. Okay. And it says, "While well, we look at the things which are seen, but for the things that are not seen, but the, for the things which are seen are temporal." So, bro, the shit they do is temporal. You really think they're going to be doing this, for, bro? Yahabashah is coming to rain down judgment. The same people that are doing this are part of this program. They're about to get judged. Bro, you're going to see it. Don't ask me how, don't ask me where, don't ask me when. But it's going to happen. How do we know? Because the devil's coming down with great wrath because he knows if he has a short time. That's why these things are happening. That's why they're getting desperate. Just look at them. They're getting desperate. Right? It's like without you, they can't live. <laughs> this is how we important the, the hopeful elect are. Keep it humble. Without you, it's like they can't survive. Right? It'd be so empty without me. Uh -huh, baby, we need a little bit of controversy. Anyways, baby, just a minute. And it says, Baba Kasha, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal. So, what we're going through now, remember, it's just temporal. Right? But the devil, that's what he wants to fo wants you to focus on, the temporal things within this world. And therefore, when you do that, you tend to lose focus, right? For the things which are seen are temporal. Here one minute, gone the next. But the things which are not seen are eternal. Okay? But the things which are not seen are eternal. So what should we be focused on? The things that are not seen. Keep your mind. I'm speaking for myself. Let's keep our minds in these scriptures. And I'm going to take, I'm giving you some advice, bro. These perps, these gang stalkers, these masons, they hate it when you're in the Bible. They hate it. That's why every time you're in the Bible, they need to try to do something to try to distract you from the Bible. They hate it. The witches, the warlocks, they hate when you have your head in the Bible. All right? Okay. Especially when they're, when they're doing them enchantments, because it's like, well, they're not really coming up against you, they're coming up against the Heavenly Father and the Bible, which they claim to believe. Right? So this is this is highly, 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 highly spiritual. So that's what's supposed to be focused on, the things which are not seen. And the things which are not seen are much more powerful than the things which are seen. See what I mean? And we're supposed to be laying up what spiritual treasures as mentioned in Colossians 2. Hold on just a minute. Let's 
Scripture says we overcame in John. Scripture says we've already overcame the world. Come on now. <laughs> right? So what's there ready to worry about? Hmm? It's those that are not doing the right thing that should be worried. Like the devil. Even the devil fears and trembles. Right? Excuse me just a minute. Check this out. Right? Col Colossians. Um, there's a lot here. There's a lot here. There's a lot here. Let's go to this Colossians 1. I want to speak about Yahabashai, who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature, the image of the invisible power of who? I'm speaking of the Heavenly Father. He's the express image of the Heavenly Father. Right? Okay, that's why Yahabashai said, if you have seen me, then you've seen the Father. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Firstborn of every creature. What does that mean, firstborn of every creature? That means of creation, right? Yahweh is the firstborn spirit. Right? And it says, For by him are all things created, that are in heaven and that are in earth. By him all things that were created were in heaven and in earth. Come on now. All things. Right? Visible and invisible. So the things we do see and the things we don't see. So even Yahweh he controls the things that are seen. He controls your paradigm. This is what you got to understand. He controls our paradigm. Not this devil. Right? He can also... The only thing he can do is present a false, um, a false narrative and a, full, a false reality. That's all he can do. And hope that you believe in it. Right? That's why when you, when you watch the news, what do you have? You have them witches moving about the camera every, every single second. Why are they doing that? Because they're, they're putting witchcraft upon you. They're putting spells upon you. They're casting spells. That's why they're called newscasters. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha. Baba Kasha. And that's having a visible and invisible. Right? Whether they be thrones or dominions. Or principalities. Right? And it says, Or powers. All things created by him and for him. So all these things were created for him and by him. That's why Yahweh was able to have charge of those demonic spirits. That's why he was able to have rule over them. And there's examples of that in the scriptures. Right? The head of principalities, man. I always say this. A lot of the times, you know... Sometimes you can get them little moments of fear. Let me tell you this, bro. The witches fear you more than you should fear them. You know how many times I beat, bro? You know how many times I've been around people? Look, look the witch in her face. She's all trembling, shaking, quivering. They fear you more than you fear them. It's just that you don't know your power. And when you don't know your power, then Satan can get up in there. You scared of a witch and a warlock? You scared of their little hocus, what's it, their, their little hocus pocus, right? Their little ad abracadabra. What are you, are you scared? <laughs> Bro, you better fear you have a shy, right? The only thing they can do is what their heavenly father allows them to do, right? Go to Hebrews 1 and 14. Are they not all ministering spirits? sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation so they're all ministering spirits that shall be sent as heirs to minister for those of what salvation like salvation so that's referred to the left and the right hand side right more so on the right but they minister to what the elect right and they would be known as what the angels right that minister with us and that sup with us right and you have to believe that as well. We have to get rid of this doubt, man. And believe in it. That's what the angels are here for. To minister. Right? To sup with you. To give you ideas. To keep you strong. 
in the midst of this spiritual battle. Right? And remember, the Heavenly Father was the prince, right, of all these powers. He was over them. And we can even go into examples of that. All right? Mark 5. And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was coming to the ship, immediately they met him out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit. Right? Well, we already know that because he's what? By the tombs, right? What was he doing by the tombs? And people that are very dark, very wicked, that have unclean spirits, they like to hang around in places and locations that have that unclean spirit, them low vibrations. All right? And it says, Baba Kasha, who had his dwelling among the tombs, come on now, and no man could bind him. No, not with chains. So he had his dwelling among the tombs, man. The tombs. Right? So why would you be dwelling where tombs are? Hmm? Because the guy was obviously, what, demonically possessed. Right? And you know where this took the graveyard. Why would you be dwelling where, where a graveyard is? There's nothing but spirits there. And no man could bind him. No, not with chains. So this man could not be bind with chains. So in other words, he had legion upon him. You know when you see people that are very aggressive, are very, very, very angry? Well, that's a demon, right? Binding them. And no man could bind him, not even with chains, not even with steel chains. Because he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him. That's how strong he was. That's how much. See, so even them demons give you super strength. Neither could any man tame him. So he couldn't even be tamed. Right? So you can imagine people were scared to probably walk past him. And always night and day he was in the mountains. Right? Night and day. And in the tombs crying. Right? So he's being tormented by that spirit. Right? Crying and cutting himself with stones. Self-inflicting himself with stones. Right? So this shows you there's spirits that can make people do these things. But when he saw Yahweh Shah far off, he ran and worshipped him. Right? See, he went and ran. Right? He ran afar off. Yahweh Shah wasn't even there. He was afar off. He ran and worshipped him. Why? But hold on a minute. This was an unclean spirit, right? So an unclean spirit noticed Yahweh Shah and it ran and worshipped him. Right? Because Yahweh Shah is over the spirits. Right? And cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee? Yahweh Shai. Right? What have I to do with thee? Right? Panicking. Panicking. Right? What have I to do with thee? Right? Remember, because them demons, they don't just leave straight away. Them demons get bold. Remember, they want to put up a fight. You think demons just leave? They always want to put up a fight. They don't just want to leave that vessel. Right? That's why they're sneaky. Right? And it says, cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee? In other words, what do you want from me? <laughs> Yahweh Shai. That explains why people, they want to, some people want to get you. I always say there's a few things that demons do. They try to jump in with that fair demon, or they stay down, or get out. Right? Only a few things they do. Right? What have that what have I to do with the old the most high, son of the most high? God, power. So what? Them spirits, them demons knew Yahweh was the son of the most high. Because they obey. Verse, same verse, I adjure thee by the most high that thou torment me not. Right? I've the demons tried the demons trying to trying to fight back. I've a crusty that thou torment me not. So when you're around certain people, they don't want to be tormented. You torment their spirit. That's that whole saying, you irritate their demons. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha. Baba Kasha. Right? And it says, no. And it says, Baba Kasha. And where was I? I lost my, I lost my train of thought. Right? Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? 
excuse me, at the top that torment me not. So them spirits, they don't want to be tormented. Right? Them spirits don't want to be tormented. Okay? And that's how they feel. Please stop looking at the person. Right? Don't look at the person. It's the spirit behind that person. Right? They don't want to be tormented. And that's why they have to try to keep you down. Right? Have you ever been in a store and they try to they try to rush you out of the store? Because that's one of the two things the demons would do. They would get out quick or they try to get you out. Right? That's how it works. Right? For he said unto him, Come out of a man though unclean spirit. So Yahweh Shah wasn't ramping. Right? He said, Come out of the man, oh unclean spirit. Come out. Right? And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. Remember, remember, he wasn't speaking to the man. Keep this. He wasn't. Anytime you're speaking with people, you're not speaking to them. Remember that. Anytime you're speaking to someone, you're not speaking to them. You're speaking to that demon. This is how you got to see it. This is how you win spiritual warfare as well. Right? What is thy name? And he answers, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And legions are many. Type in the word legion. And it's about 3,000 to about 5,000 5, regiments. Right? In, in the army. It's about 3,000 to 5,000. So the demon has regiments. Okay, that means he has regiments. Right? Remember, remember as well about that one, one spirit that leaves you. When you wake up to the truth, right? And it's somewhat desolate places, right? Looking for us, what? Spirit to inhabit, right? This is more deeper than you think. For we are many. So that demon said, we are many. So we had many. That's why the man was so strong. That's why he was breaking the chains. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. So when it said he besought him, who did? The devil besought him, them demons besought him. Not the man himself. Right? Now there was a night unto the what the mountains, a great herd of swine feeding. Right? And all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine. Right? Key thing. Send us into the swine. That we may enter into them. So them devils, it says they besought what? They were begging. They were begging Yahweh Shai, please, please, send us into a, a, another um, body, quick, right? Don't send us out of the country. So remember, these spirits, they have a, they have a mission. These the demons, they have a purpose, right? And it, all the devils pursue him, saying, send us into the swine that we may enter into them. So what does he show us about the spiritual realm? When demons need um, permission. The demons need permission, right? Send us into the swine that we may enter into them. That we may enter in. So they need permission to even enter into someone's vessel. Right? On four with, Yahweh gave them leave. And the unclean spirits went out. Yahweh gave them leave. Right? And the unclean spirits went out. And entered into the swine. So the swine is the pigs. And the herd ran violently down a steep place. Hello there. Right. And it says, and the herd ran violently down to a, into a steep place, into the sea. So why did the unclean spirits, why did they command to go straight into the pigs? There was a reason behind that. The reason behind it was because what them unclean spirits, they need what? Right? Them unclean spirits, what do they need? They need another unclean vessel. To attach themselves to, right? All right, yeah, what? Well, it noticed me. All right, all right. So that's why the, the devil it needed an unclean what place to go. So where did it go? It went straight, straight into them demons because demons need an unclean habitation, right? So when more unclean, that's another way them demons can 
come to us as well. Several, several different ways. Them demons can what attack us. Right? That's why, yeah, I see brothers doing videos on cleanliness. Yeah, it's that. But more so, your surroundings need to be cleansed. And your inwardly, you need to be clean. Because if you're not clean inwardly, then them spirits can what? Get up in you. Maliciousness, envy, jealousy, all these things. Right? All these things. Right? And if you're not covered by your Habashai, this is how the, the only, uh, this is what I always say. How does demonic possession work? It works when you're open up to fear, doubt, um, hatred, variance. That's how you can get possessed. So we want to make sure we don't, even with, even with the program. See, you're so spiritual. What's the purpose of the program? To get you acting like them, hating them, angry. Don't fall for it. Because that's how you can get demonically possessed. See, bro, I'm giving you, I hope you're right. I hope you got a notepad and you're writing this down. All right? Excuse me just a minute. Baba Kasha. So where was we? And yet, you besought it, went sent into right, right into the swine, and forward with Yahushua gave them leave, and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine. The pigs, right? And that's why you shouldn't eat pig as well, bro. The 2022 now, right? 23. Bro, there's no reason to eat pig, right? You've got all these other foods. Bro, pig will eat anything. A pig will eat anything, right? You give a pig, bro. Anything Right And it won't die A pig can eat toxic food And it won't die Because it is toxic A pig is a, is a um, It's meant to clean up your farm That's what a pig's used for It's not to eat A pig is used to clean up your farm It's the equivalent of A garbage disposal Right Okay Just like with lobster Okay A lobster ain't to eat Right? And I know the so-called black woman loves lobster. She be eating up that lobster. Lobsters are what? To clean the, the, the bottom of the sea. That's what lobster's for. It's not... It's not the <laughs> and you wonder why you've got high blood pressure and, you're, and, and, you're, and you stink. Because all that's soaking right... That's coming right out of your pores. That's why we have a law. Excuse me. But that's why it went straight into the pig. Right, come on now. And the herd ran violently down the steep place into the sea. It said violently, because that was them. That was that legion. Right, you know when you have cars speeding past, speeding past your your environment. Well, what do you think that is? That's legion upon them. I'm not talking about one car. I'm talking about multiple cars speeding. That's legion. Right, and they were about two thousand, and they were choked in the sea. Right, and they were about, to, and they were choked in the sea, and they that fed the swine fled and told it in the city and in the country, and they that went out to see what it was that was done, and they come to Yahushai and see him that was possessed with the devil, right, and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. They were afraid. Excuse my, excuse my language. They were shit in the bricks. They were afraid. Imagine you see this man. That was by the tombs, in, a madman by the tombs. And now Yahabashai healed him. He's, he's in his right mind. He's got his. Bro, that's a miracle. You know you're going to see those things. You know you're going to see that in this lifetime. Right? Why do you think they don't want you listening to us? Right? Certain brothers are going to be doing that. Right? Certain brothers are going to. Bro, what you're going to see, bro, it's going it's to surprise you. It's going to surprise you. Right? And it says. And he was in his right mind. And they were afraid. Why were they afraid? We're going to go into it. Right? And they saw it, told them how it befell to him that was possessed with the devil. And also concerning the swine. Right? So they told the story. This story was spreading. And they began to pray to him to depart out of their coast. Oh, they just... They, they were afraid... And they were begging him to depart out of the coast. Now we need to find out why. Why? The reason why is because that same spirit, that legion that was troubling, right? That man that was healed, 
That was the same demon that was in them. And that demon didn't want to be troubled. Remember, because them demons are comfortable with laying in, um, dormant in someone's um, flesh. Right? That's why they did, prayed for him to depart out of the coast. Right? And when he was coming to the ship that, that had been possessed by the devil, prayed him that he might be with him. So it even gets to the point where you're healing people on such a high level. And that most people, remember, your enemy ain't going to tell you that. Your enemy ain't going to tell you that. Right? Your BBC News ain't going to say, um, you need to keep an eye on this individual because he's healing people and, pe 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 and he's um, lifting up pe people's spirits. They're not going to tell you that. They're going to tell you some rubbish, some lies. Right? But this is what's happening. Because it was the same with the disciples. They were able to heal the sick just through the word alone. Just through these videos. Right? And there's demons out here. They don't want others to be healed. And that's why they were praying, Yahweh to depart out of the coast, to leave. Right? So that man that was possessed for the devil, pray him that he might be with him. He wanted to dwell with Yahweh Shai. <laughs> how about Yahweh Shai suffered him not, but saith unto him, Go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord Yahweh Shai have done for thee and have compassion on thee. Now, you know what, it ain't meant for you to, to be with me. You, you go home and tell those that the miracle I've done for you, how I healed you. Just spread that gospel in that way. Right? And it says, Baba Kishar. How about, Yahushua suffered him not. We went to that Baba Kishar. And he departed and began to publish in Decapolis how great things Yahushua had done for him. And all men did marvel. Right? Come on, man. Oh, this puts a smile on my face. Right? When you actually see someone get healed, when you see someone get healed by this word, bro, there's no better feeling. Come on. Right? It's the sweetest joy next again in pussy. <laughs> right? There's no better joy than that. Right? And it says, And there behold cometh one of rulers of synagogue of Jarvis by name, and he saw him, he fell at his feet. Right? And besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. So these basic this whole chapter is going into what? Yahweh Shai, miracles, healing. And I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed and she shall live. And Yahweh Shai went with him, and much people followed him and thronged him. Followed and thronged. That means we're pressing upon Yahweh Shai. Guess what that is? Gang stalking, followed and pressed upon him. Right? We're talking about the Messiah here. Right? Can you imagine his aura as well? He must have had one head of an aura. Right? And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. Right? Which dealt with um like a leakage in what period? And has suffered many things. Of many physicians. Had spent all that she had and nothing bettered. She was going to physicians, but they couldn't stop that bleeding. But rather grew worse. When she had heard of Yahavashai, came in the press behind him and touched his garment. Remember, he was being thronged upon. There was thousands of people gathering Yahavashai. But he said, she touched his garment. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. Let me just touch a little bit of his clothing and I'm going to be healed. That's the amount of power that Yahavashai had. Right? That's why some people, some people come around and they want to touch you. <laughs> and it says, right? And I shall be whole. So guess what? She was moving, she was operating based on faith. She was operating, that woman was operating based on faith. Because she said, if I maybe if I touch him, it wasn't even a maybe. If I touch his garment, I'm gonna be made whole. And straightway the thousand of her blood was dried up immediately. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Yahweh immediately knowing himself, the virtue had gone out of him. The virtue what? Power. Virtue is what your power, right? Had gone out of him. Turned about in the, in the press and said, who touched my clothes? Right? Spiritual power again. How did he know someone touched his clothes? There was thousands of people gathering him. That's spiritual power. And his disciples said unto him, thou seest the multitude thrown in thee and says, who touched me? So that the disciples were saying, bro, there's thousands of people surrounding you. Why are you asking who touched you? You could be anyone. And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. Right? 
but the woman fearing and trembling fearing and trembling right knowing what was done in her came and fell down before him and told him all the truth and he said unto her daughter thy faith hath made thee whole go in peace and be whole of the plague while he yet spake they came forth from the rulers of the king of the house of certain said that the daughter is dead why trouble so master any further so pure people were coming to your house right wanting that healing right and it says excuse me just a minute where was I? Why he yet spake, they came from the ruler of the really Why he yet spake, they came from the ruler of the synagogue's house, certain daughter said the daughter was dead. Why travel some master any further? As soon as Yahweh heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. Be not afraid, only believe. Right? Because the, the miracle can't happen if you're afraid. Right? Only believe. He suffered no man to follow him, right? Say Peter and James, because Peter and James, they were, um, see, there's, there's levels to this as well, even in the spiritual realm, right? Peter and James, they were of rank, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Excuse me just a minute. And he suffered no man to follow him. Say Peter, James, and John, the brother of James, Right? And it says, And he comes to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and see the tumult and them that wept and well greatly. And when he was coming, he saith unto them, Why make ye this ado and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laugh him to scorn. So there was a bit of mockery there. But when he had put them all out, he taketh the father. Because remember, it says, Only believe. Right? So we had to take them out because they weren't taking it seriously. And it shows you a couple people they can they can ruin everything because of their disbelief. And a father and a mother of a damsel, and them that were with him, and entered into where where the damsel was lying. He took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Talitha, come in, which is being interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. And straight with the damsel arose and walked, for she was of age of twelve years, and they were astonished with a great astonishment. And he charged them straightly that no man should know it. And commanded that something should be given her to eat. That was just in Mark 5th chapter. And you could see the miracles that Yahweh was doing. And over the diseases, right? And so forth. And the demons that he had to rebuke. You see how he dealt with it. Why? Because he was given power over them spirits. So when we think of diseases, illness, achings, all these things, it's demons. And even a lot of the, even the doctors know that. The doctors know that as well. But remember, the pharmaceutical business is a, a billion industry, billion dollar industry. So they're not going to tell you that, right? But all sickness, every type of illness, is linked to some type of form of demon. Okay, and that's a fact. All right. But Yahweh Shai had the power. To heal all that Right And not just that He also gave his disciples that power Right But if the devil can convince you And these devils Right That you don't have it Then How are you going to tap into it How are you going to tap into that power Huh Go to John John 14 And jump straight to verse 12 Verily, verily, I say unto you He that believe on me, the works that I do, he shall do also Right? And greater works than these shall he do Because I go unto my father So it was already said Yahushua said He that believe on me, has, believe on me The works that I do, shall he do also When was that going to be happening? Well it starts with having faith As soon as you have faith that's when it starts. You start to see the miracles that Yahweh is working within our life. Due to faith. Due to belief. So the more we believe, the more, the more miracles we see. Right? It's simple as that. 
the more you are able to tap into that spiritual power right but now it's this devil he wants to keep you on a low vibration because if you're on a low vibration if you're in negativity all the time then how are you able to do these miracles huh so it's all spiritual okay and that's why even in Matthew 10 what does it say Yahweh sent out his disciples two by two and gave them power over unclean spirits it didn't say the unclean spirits had power over the disciples it was the other way around okay so with this I hope this was edifying and until the next time Shalom Thank <laughs> you.